Member for Burnaby North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to honour the life of Zoe Clemens. I met Zoe about 15 years ago. She was teaching a watercolour course at the Community Centred College for Retirees in Burnaby. While we painted, she told us stories, like how she met Tommy Douglas at her mother's kitchen table in Saskatchewan when she was a little girl. She taught us to practice our watercolour technique by drawing a calendar on a large piece of watercolour paper and then painting something in a square every day, like a diary. I remembered her advice, and that's how I documented my experience of the first few months of the pandemic. I think it may have saved my sanity. Zoe and I met again after I became an MLA. She was part of the Burnaby Arts Council. In fact, my office has become an art gallery where local artists can exhibit their work. Zoe's work is hanging there today, and it's Burnaby themed. When she came to my office to hang her art, she told me more stories. She was present at the Saskatchewan Legislature to witness Tommy Douglas being sworn in as the first CCF Premier. And you know that famous painting of the suffragette presenting a petition in 1916? That was Zoe's grandmother. Zoe was a stand-up comic, a Laugh Lines regular. She was a black belt karate instructor. She even showed me some of her moves. But I think what her children most want us to remember is that she was a hard-working single mother of four who might sit all evening sewing sequins on their costumes, who slipped poems into their school lunches, and who turned them into a marching band with kitchen pots to distract them during a hurricane. She was someone who created a world of magic for them, who taught them to seize life with both hands. Zoe died peacefully on January 1st, 2022, at the age of 88.